Hey guys, Storm on Air. So we're back with another reading challenge day. Uh, today is day 11, I believe. And we'll be reading part three of chapter six. This is a little longer chapter than I expected. Also, reason I've been reading through these chapters so slow is I am very fatigued. Uh, I don't sleep well. So hopefully today will be a little bit better, but who knows. Plus, reading has a tendency to put me to sleep. I I'd hate to admit, but it does. So, uh, without further ado, I shall get started with starting the clock now. Twilight stared down at her mug, or at the mug. She grabbed Pinky's bed and made it stop spinning around her and forced the burning liquor down her throat. Shrugging rainbow, da or rainbow down her drink easy, poured Twilight another mug and pushed it in front of her. Twilight stared at the alcoholic beverage in defeat. Twilight felt a hoof prod her on the shoulder and turned around to see Stupid staring at her with pleading eyes. Please don't lose, he mumbled. Stupid. I want to prove I'm worth it too. Please don't lose. Stupid quietly plead. That was the last straw. He can he her conflicting desire to keep her doll the stress from last week, stupid's plea to finally or finally broke her composure. No, no, nope. I'm done. I'm sick of this manner. Give me buck or give me whole bucking barrel. Twilight screamed. Everyone backed away in fear as Twilight put her head under the nozzle, turning the handle all the way. Twilight guzzled down the rest of the half full barrel. Twilight's stomach bulged and wobbled in front of Rainbow Dash. Top that. Rainbow Dash raised her hoof as she scooted backwards, shaking her head. Raising her head, Twilight gave a loud victory cry, then promptly vomited all over Rainbow Dash. Stupid! I can't walk ju- I can walk just fine! Twilight giggled as she leaned against Stupid. Of course you can. You're helping me on- uh, Of course you can. You're helping me walk home, he said gently. Oh, that's okay then, Twilight grinned as she nuzzled his neck. Stupid! Struggled to try to- uh, Struggled- trying to open Twilight's bedroom door while keeping her from falling. The door finally opened. Twilight laughed as she grabbed Stupid into the bed with her. You pushed me, Twilight pouted. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. What can your humble doll do to make it up to you? I need some serious snuggles. Stat. Twilight ordered. Twilight giggled and Stupid wrapped his arm around her and started to cuddle. You're like the cutest little buggy ever. She stroked his face. Not as cute as you right now. You know, I never had a Pegasus take me for a ride before. You want to take me for my first? Flight? Twilight stroked his hind leg as she whispered into his ear. Uh, quick note, this might get a little adult, so if there are children listening to this, you might want to turn them away. But if not, meh. You've been warned. <laughs> Twilight, stupid whisper, you have wings, silly. Stupid booped on her nose. Stupid, 
while I moaned, a biting on his ear. Working her mouth down, Twilight tried to reach his lips only to kiss a hoof instead. Twilight, you're drunk. You don't want to do this. Stupid wonder. You're my doll. Kiss me. Twilight ordered irritated or ordered irritated. I'm your friend. Friends don't let friends do things they would regret, stupid. Refused. Twilight pouted and glared at Stupid, standing firm under her gaze. Stupid frowned when he saw Twilight start crying. I'm sorry. Stupid nuzzled the top of her head with his chin. I'm horrible. Twilight cried. No, you're not. I am. No, you're not horrible. Or, eh, eh. or yes, I am. No, you're not horrible, stupid. Chided her. No pony wants me, Twilight whimpered. Why would you think that? He wrapped his wings around her. I saved Equestria a lot. I served the princess. Am. Super nice to the princess. Twilight hiccuped. I'm made really good friends. I'm nice to every pony, and I'm a member of the royal, royal, royal. I'm cool now. Boy, she's drunk. Twilight shuddered. Why haven't? Why hasn't any stallion asked me out? Am I ugly? Am I really annoying? Am I so lame that I actually two times the lame Anne? Ugh, that is a mouthful. Twilight scrunched up her nose. And no pony ever hangs out with me or... And no pony ever hangs out with them alone. They only invite to group. I, I'm that pony, except not that lame. Ooh, that is such a mouthful. Good lord, I may have screwed that up. Back to the book. I don't act like a relaxed know-it-all like Celestia. I am not talking funny like Luna. I'm just a boring bookworm. You're not ugly, annoying, or boring, Twilight, or stupid, tried to soothe her. Yes, I am. I'm annoying even my dolls, whose job is to love me, doesn't want me. Twilight gasped as stupid flipped her on her back and pinned her down. growling in her ear. I want you. He nibbled her ear. I want you so bad right now. You're so funny and smart. He kissed her cheek. You're so amazing. I can't stop thinking about you. He slid his tongue along her jawline, making Twilight moan quietly. You're so cute and so sexy. He massaged her flank as he kissed her deeply. Stupid gently stroked her tail as he broke his kiss. He gasped, gasping for or gasping for air. Twilight groaned as Stupid planted his kiss all the way down to her stomach. I want you so bad, Stupid Blue. A raspberry on her belly. I'm willing to wait till you're not completely smashed, you silly pony. He gave her a light kiss on the forehead. Stupid watched as Twilight gave him the cutest puppy eyes he had ever seen. He returned the look with an amused smile, realizing she wasn't going to charm him tonight she huffed and buried her face her head into his chest 
The two lied there until Twilight started to gently snore. Chuckling Stupid tried to get up only to give Twilight have Twilight squeeze him harder. After snuggling a bit, Stupid came to the conclusion that he was not sleeping in his guest room tonight. Oh no. What shall I do? Twilight or Stupid smiled as he snuggled closer to Twilight. You are so going to kill me when you wake up. Poker face, what have we have a situation? Stupid frown, what's wrong, dirty? Three fillies wandered into the Everfree Forest just now. Who are they? Doll had a sinking feeling he had already knew which three fillies was crazy enough to waltz in the Ever free forest that night. Scootaloo, Apple Bloom, Sweetie Belle, Sir, Stupid Side, as he quietly tele or as he quickly teleported out of Twilight's bed. Twilight whispered as her stallion seized as her stallion or as her Pegasus sized teddy bear disappeared. <laughs> Pegasus sized teddy. She slipped a pillow between her hooves. Or slipping a pillow between her hooves, he slid out of the window and started heading towards the forest. Keep an eye out for or on those three and make sure nothing dangerous gets near them. I'm going to find out what they're up to. Well, I'm going to call this one good for the time being. Sorry it's so short, but that is the end of the chapter. Luckily, I didn't have to read a fourth part. Um, so, for the time being, uh, I'll just wish you adieu, and I will see you tomorrow. This is Stormrunner. See you around.